<laughs> Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for just in time for another campground experiential video. There's gonna be a lot of road noise in this one. So we had to go to uh, uh, you see the the title up there, so you kind of know where we are. We had to go to Amarillo for Yappy's work, and we're now headed back. I found this little public campground while just kind of crawling Google Maps, Google Street View. This is the Riverside Park, Riverside RV Park, Wichita Falls. It's owned by the city of Wichita Falls. It's a very handy place to have. Let's, let me show you the site we're in. We're in site number 20, according to the pedestal. Now, it's kind of weird the way this is laid out. Just know when you get here, you're going to have to, it's confusing. I don't even know if I need to do a scooter run on this. Uh, all the sites are pretty flat. They're, they're, they all look really level. 20, I think, is the longest one, but I had to circle around this thing to figure out how to get in it. Uh, and So I will do a scooter run to kind of show you how this lays out. We have a picnic table and a trash can. That's handy. And then the dumpster's right over there. We have a street light. Uh, that'll make you happy, happy. And I think the park ranger's here. Arch. So I got the lowdown. That was the, not really a ranger, I guess. He's a park employee for the city of Wichita Falls. And registering here, you can't make reservations. It's first come, first serve. But as you can see, this is, it's Friday night. And there's one RV here. So that there's not a whole lot of pressure. Uh, it works very similar to a uh, National Park Forest Service where you have an envelope, costs you $17. You, you fill out the envelope and you drop it in the box back up there and we'll check that out once we get the form filled out. Right off the highway. Easy on, easy off. But what's really cool is we're right next. Try not to put you in looking at the sun. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Well, way later than I typically do these videos because of the, <laughs> I like to do them in the middle of the day. The way the light's better. But the Wichita River's right there. And there's a suspension bridge over that takes us to a park on the other side. So we're gonna go check out some of that. When you're here, I, I recommend you lock your stuff. Just lock things up to be secure. All right, so let me fill out this envelope and we'll go see some stuff. I gave you the wrong name. It's the Wichita Bend RV Park. $17 per night. You get water and electricity. And then your envelopes are here and then you just put them right in there. Just like that. I didn't show you that we had water because I didn't connect to the water. I, for, I got full tanks. They do have a dump station. So since there's not a whole lot of stuff to see right here. We need to run back over to the dump station. But when you come in, if you've got a big rig and you want to hit those pull throughs, don't use this one. These are all back end sites. Big and small. Seventy two. You can stay here for two nights. dump station is right here right next to the trash can well, there you have it all right 
I need to grab some batteries and then we'll go see some stuff. You can stay in this, in the RV park, the Wichita Bend, Wichita River Bend, Wichita Bend RV park for two nights. Although I don't know, you know, if you're not living here, I, I don't know, but that's what the rules say. Rules say two nights. If you have an e-bike and, and you want some exercise and activity, this this is a tr bike trail that follows the river, and then there's just a whole bunch of trails on the other side of this bridge. <laughs> yes, it's a bridge. A suspension bridge at that. Now they only want 20 people on this bridge at a time. This the Wichita River. It looks like it's moving along pretty good oh those are those are ducks making the way now if you're a disc golfer we have a pretty extensive disc golf course here somewhere So let me find some stuff and we'll go see it. So there are group pavilions, playground equipment, shooting hoops. There's all kinds of stuff in this park. Of course, it's a city park, so. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Have a fitness trail, more playground equipment. The kid, if, if, if you're traveling with kids, this is a good place to bring them. Let's go see some ducks. So the lighting's not just the greatest, but check that out. You got a swing. I would call it a pork swing, but it's not a pork swing. It's just a relaxing and watching the ducks swing. This is a really neat little part of this park with a whole lot of ducks over there. No clearance. That's pretty cool. All right, so I think it's, it's, battery's getting low, it's time to head back. If I see anything on my way back to camp, we'll stop and take a look at it. There's some ducks. This is a really beautiful little park. <laughs> Lots of ducks and geese. All right.
Not such a good bridge for the scooter. All right. Now I don't I don't know if it's the original falls. I I, I kind of don't think it is. But here we are at the falls. Water looks kind of yucky. Maybe we should go up to the top. It's not ADA friendly, but I think I can get up there. There's an observation point up there, too. All right. I need to go back to camping. Hey, I keep saying that. I keep finding other stuff. Run from the fall. Morning from Wichita Falls, more specifically the Wichita River Bend Park, Wichita Falls. It's a nice little campground with one glaring exception, and that's the the highway. There's lots of highway noise. Of course, it, it died off last night after about midnight, but the truckers with their Jake brake and no mufflers was, uh, sometimes it was about once every 10 minutes or something. There goes one. About every 10 minutes or so, one goes by and it's loud enough that you could hear it over the roof AC. We run the fan because of my tinnitus. So I run the fan over the bed every night when I have shore power. 
which I have shore power here. But uh, yeah, the noise was a bit loud last night. I think it's a fantastic waypoint stop if you need power, water, trash, and a dump station. This is a nice, nice, convenient place. Felt very secure last night. I didn't didn't feel at risk. Although with that being said, I did secure every compartment last night. Locked locked it down just to be on the safe side. I didn't want any anything to go missing because I didn't take one little step, which is lock stuff up. Sight's not real level. I should have put blocks under under the rear so we were sitting low on this point. It was for one night. I uh, didn't see any wildlife, although there's probably some raccoons and possums and skunks, and dogs and cats and squirrels. I didn't see any of those. Something to consider. There's no campground host. There's no gate. So if you're driving through Wichita Falls and you need fresh water, you need to dump your tanks. There's a dump station right there. And, uh, that gentleman doesn't know what gloves are. Ooh. Ooh. Time for another edition of Tales from the Dump Station. So what do you do when your toilet is clogged? You like to flush it. You want to do a black tank flush. So the ideal way to do the black tank flush is to get your fresh water hose and connect to the faucet that's in the ground right next to the dump station. You don't necessarily have to turn the water on immediately. You can push a lot of the clog out and then clean the end of your hose off with your hand and then turn the water on and wash it out. Remember, gloves are not required. And if you decide to lay on the concrete next to the dump station, that's okay too. Yuck. If you found some value in this video, I'd appreciate you clicking on that thumbs up and blasting us out across your social media. If you have not already, I would be most grateful if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button right down there. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I really appreciate that. That's the only reason we're camped here is for you. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, we are most grateful for your generosity. Thank you so very much. Ow, you guys rock. Broke my finger for you. Let's do that again. And for our patrons, I toast you. I am most grateful for your generosity. Thank you so much. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?